so I did mention that I got a new hood um, the hood did come um, it had some protective layer on it it was white I didn't mind the white I'll move this out of the way so it doesn't ruin the video I didn't mind the white hood it really did pop with the color here I'll give you guys a little peek of the color again just in case you forgot it is so shiny right now I'm not gonna give you a peek of the hood yet um, I did end up getting the hood wrapped uh, I got it wrapped in gloss black I think it looks great um, next there's a mesh that's in the uh, the hood scoop and I think that does need to get blacked out because it goes with the theme of the car and I do want to black out my front grill just because I have the headlight covers and now I have the hood black um, but without further ado I will give you guys a look at the hood the sun in the background looks good So I did go to a shop over in Brandon, um, they're called Under Wraps, and they did a phenomenal job. So essentially I posted on a Facebook group asking if anyone knew any shops in the area that would wrap my car, and I knew it was last minute, it was my fault. I, I got the hood and I really wanted it wrapped the next day, and I got it wrapped. They reached out to me, um, one of their guys messaged me let me know that they were just starting wrapping and uh, he I saw a lot of the pictures of his wraps and they're phenomenal um, it it looks amazing to me it still looks good the only thing I do have to do to it as you can see right here I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up right here is where the squirters go and I, I want to relocate the squirters from the old hood into this hood but in order to do so you have to I can't drill that the clip piece that is gonna have to go in there so I do have to figure out how to drill that in there so I can get those back on there um, yeah that's that's essentially the front of the car I'll give you guys a little sweep the car's it's looking great it's it's running great um, like I said I got rid of my mufflers um, they were Flowmaster 10s so essentially what I'm running now is it goes from the catalytic converter um, through the three inch Flowmaster piping to the Dynamax mini bullets and then it's just straight back from there and it sounds absolutely amazing. So without further ado, I am going to let you guys listen to it and I will warn you now that if you're thinking about doing this modification to the car exhaust wise, it is insanely loud. So I, I have a feeling that the video is, is probably gonna mess up with the sound of it but we'll give it a shot. So that, that's that's what the car sounds like now. Uh, it sounds great to me. So little little thing I was actually kind of surprised about deleting the mufflers and putting those in there. I thought the drone inside the car would actually get worse because before I will tell you that it was, it gets annoying, especially when you're on the highway just cruising. You have the constant humming behind you. The whole, I know when I bought the car, I actually had to go straight to work because I was late to work. And uh, it was an hour and a half drive back to work and I got a headache. And I just remember thinking to myself, is this car, like, do I really want this now? Because it was that, the drone was that annoying. There's absolutely no drone. It's, it's much louder on the outside, but you want it to be louder on the outside. You want the other people to hear your beast, what you got under there. And that's, that's what we got now. So I'll give you guys another run through. We'll do a complete walk around. We'll start from here.
a buddy of mine was just telling me that I should black out the rims now because essentially we got the tail lights blacked out, the headlights blacked out, uh, we got the black lovers on the back, we got the blacked out hood on the front, we're gonna go black grill. So I mean why not do the wheels? That's not anytime soon, that's gonna be way down the road, but there you go. Now you guys gotta look at it. Um there's been a lot of modifications that happened in the past couple weeks. So I am probably gonna slow it down a little bit from now on. Uh, I do I do like the way it sits. I do think this is probably the way it's gonna sit for a while now. Um, but there you go. Give you guys a little update, gave you guys a peek of the car and uh, you know what to do. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, comment, do everything. Uh, you can hit me up on my Instagram page at Mopar underscore Mo underscore Power. Uh, do follow back make sure you you let me know you follow me on there and then i will follow you guys back uh this is mopar steve and i'm signing out